to see you. My name's Mike. Hi, I'm Fred. Hello, I'm Costas. I am Raul. Hey, really great to see you. So you can see from all these lovely images that we've got behind us here, what part of the world are we in? Well, we are in South America and we are in Brazil. But you know, Brazil is the biggest country in South America. And because of that, there's loads and loads of different kind of cultures within Brazil itself. You know, the Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. It's amazing. And if you go really quite far north in Brazil, there's a place called Salvador. And in fact, all these images behind us, they are all images of Salvador. We're going to tell you a little bit, tell you more about those later. Before, we have done some Samba videos. You can go and find those Samba videos on our website or on YouTube. But they were all focusing on Rio-style Samba, Rio de Janeiro, which is further south. So for these videos, we're going to focus on what is called Samba Reggae. And Samba Reggae is kind of a mixture between some of the Samba that we've done before and Reggae music from Jamaica. Because, you know, where they are here is, you know, getting closer towards the Caribbean cause. So there's a lot of musical influences that come from there. So, well, here the music is much kind of slower. Um, so we're going to have fun with it and we're going to um, teach you how to play lots and lots of different rhythms. As you can see, we've all got drums that we've got ready to show you. Now, remember what we always do with these videos. It's the way that we just teach. We have our what we call our three stages teaching method. We're not going to go into that a lot now, but go and have a look at Samba video number one, the Rio Samba, and you'll see that we explain what we mean by the three-stage teaching method. But we're going to go look straight at Fred, because Fred, what type of drum have you got, and, and how does its rhythm go? Okay, so I've got the Surdu here, which is the biggest drum of our Samba band, and it's really the heartbeat of our music. And you'll have seen, if you've watched our um, samba, samba videos from Rio, there's the, the Surdu plays quite a simple part, but it's actually a little bit more of a complex part for the Samba Reggae, and it goes like this, it goes, play, uh, sorry, beat, with hands and feet, Samba Reggae beat, with hands and feet, Samba Reggae, like that. So let's just say that, so it's beat, with hands and feet, Samba Reggae. Okay, ready? Here we go. Beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. Beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. Lovely. Now let's play that on our chests. Ready? So here we go. Beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. 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 Lovely. You can play it with whatever you've got at home. Raoul's going to talk to you about that in a minute. Let me just show you on the drum. So let's play it together. Ready? Here we go. Beat with hands and feet. Samba reggae. 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 Stop. Over to you, Mike. Thank you so much, Fred. That's great. So that's the basic rhythm. But as Fred said, you might not have a real pseudo at home. So, Raoul, if you don't have a pseudo, um, we need to kind of think what you could do um, instead. Can we? So, Raoul, that's definitely not a pseudo you've got in front of you there. No, it's not a pseudo. You're quite right. Well, you, if you have a box, that will do as well. But this is a, a mop bucket, you know, one of those that mom uses to wash the, the kitchen, kitchen floor, uh, you can see it, so, but uh, as you've noticed, as Fred was showing us, the rhythm was also slower, eh? the samba is a, a bit more faster, but this one is, so let, you, you can uh, use a spoon, a, a wooden spoon, have you got a wooden spoon or a stick of some sort, yes, okay, bring it on, and uh, now you've got your mop bucket or box, and then you use one hand only, Remember that what uh, what Fred said: beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. Beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. Beat with hands and feet, samba reggae. Beat with hands and feet, and samba reggae. Very good. You did fantastic. Mike, go ahead. Brilliant. So yeah, a bucket will work brilliantly. Anything is kind of quite resonant. In fact, even if you've got any type of deep drum that you could play, if you have a drum kit where you've got, you know, your bass drum, your snare drum, your tom toms and cymbals and stuff, forget about the cymbals, but you can pull a drum kit apart really nicely and you can replicate a samba reggae 
really nicely. In fact, on a drum kit we have a snare drum. Costas, can you tell us what is a Brazilian snare drum and what's the part go like? Hello everyone. So yes, in Brazil we are using a drum which is called Kaisa and it looks like our snare drum from the drum kit. So we are going to learn this rhythm for the Kaisa. We're going to use the words uh, play Kaisa like this. Play Kaisa like this. Play Kaisa like this. Play Kaisa like this. Now, as a body percussion, for now we're going to use only one hand and let's, let's play it. One, two, here we go. Play. Kaisa like this play Kaisa like this play Kaisa like this play Kaisa like this and I'm gonna take my Kaisa which looks like this looks like a, a snare drum I'm gonna take one stick for now and I'm gonna play this rhythm ready steady here we go play like this, play, guys up, like this, play, guys up, like this, play, guys up, like this, and stop. Thank you, Mike. Thank you Back so much, you. Costas. That's great. Good. Hey, right now, I have a drum here. Um, this drum. You can see, you can just see the top of it here, but if I lift it up, you can see that. Wow, look at this drum. Now, this drum just keeps going. Look at that. It's really long. Really, really long drum. I think it's probably the longest drum I've got. And this drum is called a timbao. Can you say timbao? Timbao. Now, confusingly, in fact, Rao has been teaching me about this. It's spelt T-I-M-B-A-L. But in Brazil, when they speak Brazilian Portuguese, they don't say timbal. They'd say timbao. And you play it with just your bare hands, you don't use sticks at all. Um, so this is what it sounds like. You see, it's tuned really, really hard. And often, if you've got one of these, you'd have it on a strap. Um, strap I've just got this on a stand for the moment to make it easier for today. But remember we said we're learning samba reggae. Well, we need to kind of create that nice reggae groove. If you think about sort of reggae music, if I have a look at some of our reggae videos we've done as well, where we've done Jamaican reggae, you can see reggae's got this really strong offbeat, often played on a guitar. And it goes one jagger, mm, jagger, mm, jagger, mm, jagger, one jagger, two and a three and a four. And, and you hear when you play that guitar really loudly that mm, jagger, jagger. So that's the part we're going to play. Very simply, we're going to think the word reggae. So we're going to go one reggae, two reggae, three reggae, four reggae, one reggae, two reggae, three reggae, four reggae. Now you notice when I said that, I said one reggae and I said all the numbers as well as the word reggae. But actually, when I played it as body percussion, I didn't play any of the numbers. I'm only playing the words reggae. So shall we try that together? One, two, here we go. And one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae, one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae, one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae, one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four. And stop. And I tell you, that's what's really hard about this rhythm is not playing on the beat you know we've talked about some of our other videos have a look at the west african ones we've talked about a pulse and a rhythm and things like lots of musical words like that so the pulse you know, is keeping it in time like that um keeping on the pulse i'm not playing on the pulse at all and that is actually quite hard to do the pulse is all the numbers one reggae two reggae three reggae and you know as raul was saying to us a minute ago this is nice and sort of laid back music it's quite slow and it's it would be easy for this for me to get faster and faster but you have to imagine that you are here. You are here, nice and chilled out, maybe by the beach here in Salvador, and you are going to be really nice and relaxed. You know, it's not fast music at all. So we're just going to try and play it on our drum to play just the reggae. Should we try it? One, two, one, two, three, go. One, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae, one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae.
Now I think with this Tim Bale part, what is really hard is like I said, to keep that all on what we call the off beats, the, the reggae bits of it. It's so much easier to do when we put everyone all together. So shall we do that? Shall we put everyone all together to see what it sounds like, yeah? Um, so remember you've got the pseudo part that both uh, Fred and Raoul are gonna play for us. And then we've also got the snare, the kaisha part, and then we've got, which Costa is demonstrating, and then we've got my part as well on the timba. Shall we give it again? Ready? One, two, three, here we go. And. So if you're playing the pseudo, it goes beat with hands and feet, samba reggae beat with hands and feet. Costas goes play Kaisha like this. Play Kaisha like this. Play Kaisha like this. Play Kaisha. Like if you're playing the Timbal with me, goes Reggae 2, Reggae 3, Reggae 4, Reggae 1, Reggae 2, Reggae 3, Reggae 4. done everyone absolutely fantastic today now that's as much as we want to do today because this gets all quite complicated in some of the next lessons so you can go and have a watch of those just to, um, a bit later but you need to make sure you master all of these rhythms first but this is not the end of the lesson because remember there's a quiz on the website go and have a look on our website find this video and make sure you answer all the questions on the quiz before you do the next video but we'll see you next time thanks bye bye, bye.